and this is the Dudes Far Series 6.4 slash Series 6 by Red Cat 3D for Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5. Here on Fox Farm for this test, we have four new tractors in this package. Um, 63.93 megabytes to download. So um, it is a fair chunk of memory usage. However, you do get quite a bit. And um, let's have a look at them. Well, first of all, let's tell you the slot counts. We've got 26, 23 and uh 25 and 25 so between 23 and 25 slots each the first ones we're going to look at is under medium tractors and there's two under medium tractors the t4f and the t5 140 and uh, um thousand dollars now uh horsepower is a little is the difference here for the most part so there are some other differences take let's take a look at the uh t4f first uh 280 liters of fuel it says 31 miles per hour mm, no uh 215 horsepower maximum uh yes so let's have a look at it so configurations the engine configuration there's a lot of them so we're going to go through those first you start with 150 horsepower power shift transmission then 150 horsepower rc shift and then 150 ttv and then the 150 ttv warrior and then you go up to 160 power shift and then the power shift special edition Ooh, that's fancy uh and the rc shift uh, so that was still 160, yeah. And then the TTV, and then the Warrior, and then the 170 power shift, the 170 RC, the TTV, the TTV Warrior, and the 180. You get the idea. So, um, so these are power shift, then you have automatic and CTV, or CVT, sorry. And then the 205, you're going through the power shift, RC shift, TT, and, and so on, and so on, and so on, all the way up to the uh, the 215 horsepower. So I, I'm not, I didn't test all of them, but I do have a different um, transmission on the different ones to see to kind of see a little bit of what the difference is wheel brands so these are all the same for all the all the tractors have the same options pretty much so we'll start with trailerburg wheel weights wides wides and weights rear twins twins all around narrow then we have this care wheel old rim as an option now uh, there's the, the the last largest tractor does not have this particular option but they all have narrows and standards so Michelin again all the same here it does have that care wheel option Continental same animals here Midas again same stuff here there's really nothing I went through every one of them to see if there is anything different and there isn't as far as I can see unless I tragically missed something Nokian and you have the two the three actually choices for treads and then Trailberg so what are the maximum eleven thousand dollars is the most you'll pay for tires uh, roof window so you have no or yes interior color light gray beige or light gray so some of them gonna have one extra option in there this one does not beacon lights these are the same for everything left right and you have three options for left right are all model year so we got the 216 to 218 and as far as i can tell it's only going to change the def tank that's at least that's seems like that's the only thing that changes when you go for the 16 to 18 then you got the 19 to 20 and the 21 to 23 model 
Yeah, not really sure what else those changes actually. Uh, monitors, you got none or work monitor, eye monitor or both. Front loader, quick your hour. And the main color, if you chose the Dutes Far Warrior, if not, you don't get a color option. Let's see here. Where was that red one? There. No color option there either. That's. I've never seen red on the Dutes before. That's interesting. Power Shift Special Edition. Hmm. Um, as you can see, they all come standard with the three point uh, front and rear. Everything else like that. And uh, so that's the Series uh, 6T4F. The T5, um, the horsepower is a bit more. Again, we got the 160, and then we go through power shift, automatic, power shift, automatic, power shift, automatic. Then you get the C CVT and the 190 horsepower. That's when it starts becoming available. 210 power shift automatic and CVT 228 and you get the idea so um, we picked uh, which one did I pick I think I picked the automatic transmission for this one if I remember correctly uh, wheel brands again these are no different from the one we just looked at pretty much except uh, oh Midas does not have a narrow option uh, let's see here these guys yeah so there's pretty much identical interior monitor yes or no uh, interior color dark gray or light gray or beige so this one has an extra color option inside now we have a this one actually has a halogen or LED for the front lights and position lights halogen or LED beacons same beacon choices here this one actually has a choice of warning signs steering wheel older new so this is as i said a few different options cabin floor standard or carpet so that's a different option front loader that's the same and the license plate so if we go with a warrior the warrior we get a few interesting color choices uh, we have a green, standard green, then a java green, mint green, black, or black matte. Right, so that one has a few differences. Now we're bumping it over to large tractors. And that's where the other two are. And, oh, I missed them. Where did they go? Oh, sorry. Small tractors was the first. So we looked at the medium tractors first, and now we're looking at the small tractors. Oh dear. Uh, so these two, 23 and 26, the other two were medium tractors, yes. Uh, 140, and of course the whole the whole shebang here, the up to 170, 140, 150, 160, 170, power shift, CVT, etc., etc. Pardon me. Yes, so there's a extra option if you go with the RC shift configuration. And that is the cabin, Max Vision Plus or Max Vision Pro. That is the difference there. It changes that interior control panel there that you see there. So it just took me a minute to figure out. Yes, there we go. That's what. Right. So uh, tires. Same brands of tires. Wheel setup. All the same stuff there as that we've seen with the other one so no differences with the tires roof window yes or no interior gray beige beige or light gray front lights halogen led mirror mirrors we get a few choices of mirrors three choices beacon lights we get the three choices 
model year 16 uh let's see yes it changes 16 18 19 to 22 21 to 23 so uh oh there's a bit of an interior difference to 21 to 23 of the dashboard it seems uh monitors front loader license plate no warrior um addition for the small tractor next one again we have a few uh we do have a warrior yes and the warrior will give you a color option uh, but then we're going to go through the automatic cvt and power shift options all the way up to oh you only have two choices 160 or 170 horsepower We'll go with the Warrior Wheel Brands again. No changes there, really. Everything is um, pretty much standard here. We don't get those um, white type options, though, for tires. That was just on the medium tractors, right? So, uh, monitors, yes or no interior color gray or light gray beige lights halogen or led position lights halogen or led beacon lights yeah you get the idea steering wheel old or new cabin floor is a carpet or no carpet mirrors you have a choice of mirrors loader attacher color black or green yeah so that's that's those now we're going to hop into this uh fellow right here this one is uh the the smallest one then we go up to the bigger ones here the bigger medium ones uh, i don't know why i'm getting mixed up with those yes so uh if we look at our uh, let's start start it up interior there's the monitors very nice right so I'm just gonna look at the the um, options L1 and R1 they're the same for all the tractors L1 and R1 left stick left and right opens and closes that sunroof L1 and R1 and right stick opens and close the left door and that back window so that's the same for all of them this one I do believe is the manual transmission and as you can tell it is shifting as it were a manual transmission but 26 27 mile per hour top speed so i don't know where the 31 mile per hour speed is um maybe in the cvt transmission uh, let me show you first uh let's see lights lights are lit signals reverse brakes Beacons. Right. So, performance. Now, this is... Um, this cultivator is right at its maximum horsepower range. Now, let's watch it through... I'm going to hire a worker, and... It's very typical of a manual-type transmission. It's kind of jerky, herky-jerky as you would expect but it seems to settle in to a spot where it likes to be so uh, with a few yeah not really liking the manual transmission so but it's nice that there is options right so if you are one of those who likes to manually shift your tractor with the manual setting i have automatic setting on that's why it's kind of funny like that um then that's for you but fortunately we have options and i do believe this is the uh the second of the small tractors and i if i recall i have chosen automatic transmission so it's still shows the gears 
let's uh, hire a worker and it seems to shift a little quicker with the automatic transmission chosen uh, when in the configurations it seems to work a little bit better so if you um, if you still want uh, the gears and uh, but want it to work a little better I would go with the automatic transmission um, when you're picking the configuration now let's just try one thing here because I didn't have one of them with a CVT transmission and we're gonna just set this one up with the CVT and see how it performs compared to the two that we just tried and if you bear with me here uh, power shift 70 C CVT there we go right so as you can see the transmission has already uh, change to drive neutral and reverse as the only excuse my uh, that wasn't there before yes it was um <laughs> so still only 27 mile per hour top speed so i think there's a oh and i went to the wrong side but already you can see the cvt transmission is much more it's much smoother uh, especially if you don't like shifting manual transmission by yourself or you don't like having that kind of the jerkiness about it okay let's hire a worker and it settles into the nine miles per hour just like that no problems whatsoever so that is the difference between the three transmissions as far as I can tell And that's the small tractors. So going up to the medium tractors. Interior on this one, there's the monitors and everything else. Looks very similar to the small one. If we back up here, I have a larger implement, of course. And this is the CVT transmission on this one. And as you can see, very nice so this one I do believe um, it's either the manual or the power shift I can't remember now which one uh, let's just take it for a little ride interior seems to shift pretty smooth and everything so it's they're, they're all very nice now it all depends on what you prefer none of them have any real issues you can see this one it it does hang up a little bit when shifting but that's kind of the manual type transmission for you even if it's automatic or manual but it still works fine there's no problems with it it's just whatever you prefer if you don't like that shifting then uh, just pick the CVT transmission and that's pretty much it I've probably spent too much time already going through the different transmissions but they are very nice and if you like the Dutes Fars as I do it's a nice selection of small and medium tractors and they all have some nice uh, they all have a tire option I'm sure that you can that you will find useful as well as they all have the front lifter option so a very versatile little tractor uh, well small and medium there you have it the Dutes Far series 6.4 slash series 6 by Red Cat 3D on Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.